Hello, welcome home to Eden. So this is Eve's Eden of Bufo now. We're exploring the most powerful psychedelic on the planet and how I believe uh, Grandmother Bufo is the emissary, the, the incarnation of the divine feminine being birthed into our world at last after thousands of years of suppression of the feminine, of the wild, free, spiritual magician, the, the intuitive, the magic, bringing that all back for us all is this buffo toad. And I'm really fascinated by, um, I want you to see these mountains here where I am, where I'm in Mexico. <laughs> I'm fascinated by what they call the presentations of Bufo. In other words, how a person experiences the magic of the toad medicine is very different outerly. Maybe it's similar innerly because most people do report, you know, expansion and divine love and seeing their demons and healing them and dying and re being reborn. But the outer presentation is very interesting. I was um, just at this incredible initiation with about nine of us going through 14 days together and uh, of doing the Bufo just about every day. <laughs> and. Um, changing all of our, our cellular, spiritual, emotional, psychological natures by the end. Um, but one of the things that's very interesting is that each person, according to their nature, um, presents the, their, when they take the bufo, they, they um, look very different than, so here's an example. A woman who meditated for 40 years, when she took the bufo, she was very quiet. She was like a Buddha. She looked like a radiant deity, smiling, almost perfectly still. For the entire time of her experience, we all sat in meditation. Now, another gentleman, uh, a tall, handsome gentleman, who's very sensual in his nature, very in his body. When he took the bufo, he had a lot of sound and release of emotion, but a lot of body. Like he rolled and took over the entire, it was like no part of the compound grass that he hadn't rolled on, stretched over, danced over, hung from trees. I mean, he was very, very physical. So this is why the, 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 the leaders had to be really careful to make sure people are safe. If their presentation is very physical like that, you have to make, they had to make sure that nobody bumped into walls while they're in this state of not even knowing fully what their body is doing because they're in a full on expansion into God, goddess, all that is them. <laughs> now, another gentleman who is very sort of um, elegant and refined, when he took the bufo, we could feel, um, we, it was as if we were all being taken to a temple, like he was a priest, and that molecules in the air would change, and he would go, he would just stay pretty still, but his face would go between awe to tears, to, to deep breathing, to crying, to, to emoting, but very, but his body still, and, and most of the molecules in the air, you, you could feel like this intense change going on. And he would um, bring crystals into his experience where he would, he, he needed the, the charge of the crystals. And everybody in the beginning, in their phase one, seemed to really respond to the chanting, chanting them home, uh, staying connected to the people what, looking out for them. Now, uh, let's see, other presentations. One woman who is just really elegant, gorgeous lady, really well put together. Her first presentation was about swearing, just swearing, fuck, holy fuck, oh my fucking God. <coughs> Excuse me, because she was releasing, you know, freeing up. And then later her sensuality came out and she just had like an orgasmic rolling dance all over the lawn, you know, where her sensuality was freed. Um, let's see, other presentations. It's just so fascinating, each sort of according to their nature, you know. One man who was just like a radiant heart for all of us, a joyous, loving man, he would get into starfish, just total expansion into the entire universe. <coughs> Sorry. With his mouth like wide open, his eyes wide open, trembling. And he would, 
cry and shout and, and pray. Oh my God, so exciting.